Well, hello. Thank you for joining me today on the Daily Bible Podcast. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize to you. I'm recording the show in my car on my phone. Uh, don't worry, I'm not driving. But my work schedule got a little mixed up today, and I thought I had a late day. It turns out I had to go in really early. Um, but this is a daily show. The show must go on. That's my commitment to this program after that hiatus that we had. Um, so my apologies for not the usual music. And um, today we're continuing on in Matthew chapter 19. We're going to look at verse 9 today. And this is, of course, Jesus is teaching on uh, divorce and remarriage in Matthew's gospel. Uh, we're, going to, we're going to conclude this tomorrow, but we're only doing one verse today. So again, today's verse, Matthew chapter 19, verse 9, which says, And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife except for unchastity and marries another commits adultery. And he, he who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Uh, so pretty, uh, Jesus here is really pulling no punches. He's invoking his own authority and forbids divorce and remarriage. And this is reflecting um, the Jewish culture at the time. Because in the, the, in the Jewish culture, it was only the man who was allowed to divorce. Um, really, the woman had no say. Um it's just a matter of fact that women were kind of second-class citizens, which makes, on an apologetic account, the resurrection that much more plausible because it was women who first saw the risen Jesus. So, just a little side note there. But in Mark's Gospel, which we'll get to in a couple months, um, Mark's Gospel is the first written, and he fully records this in a little bit more detail and he, in Mark's gospel, Jesus says that men and women are forbidden to divorce and remarry. So maybe saying, you know, but, you know, so in, in this version I'm reading, which is the Revised Standard Version, we see that word except for unchastity. Some translations you may see adultery, you know, such like the NIV, things like that. Um, the Greek word here, though, for unchastity does not mean adultery. It's more closely related to incest. So if there was a married couple that it was a result of an incestuous marriage, a marriage never really took place to begin with. So that was really the only valid reason according to Jesus. Um, now, like I said, yesterday in yesterday's show, this is a very touchy uh, topic. I myself have been divorced. Sometimes you just don't have a choice in the matter. Someone has abandoned you, someone has left you, someone has really no desire to uh, reconcile. Life happens. So, don't get bogged down with it. The point is, we recognize marriage is a lifelong, permanent union. Just because you're divorced does not mean you're going to hell in some way or anything like that. Don't let anyone tell you that. But what it does mean is we're to respect marriage the way that God intended it and to see it as a permanent union. As long as we're trying to do, to as long as we treat it that way and we're trying our best, sometimes the other person involved may not. That's no fault of your own. Anyway, that's my take on Matthew chapter 19, verse 9. We'll finish off this tomorrow. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for your understanding on my little work mix up there. But have a great day. God bless you.